Hello. In this video, we will talk about variants, how to use them in the Figma program, and what they are needed for. One application of variants is when we simply want a component to have different versions. Let's look at an example of how this works. We just select another version of the component in the top right menu and see that it changes. You can also use a component within a component. For example, I will show and explain later what that is. And uh, accordingly, the default state of any component, in our case, it's a button. To pull off this trick, we need two different variants of the same component. Let's, for example, look at this navigation menu. We have its full version and its compact version. To detach the link with the main component, I right click and select Detach Instance. Maybe someone will find this useful in the future. And now we can directly influence the component itself. It is not connected to the main component in any way. If you are creating a component from scratch, you won't have this. This information is just for those who might be using some ready-made solution like I am. Now let's just select these two components in the top right corner. We have Create Components. And in this way, we have created several versions of components and we'll quickly go through the parameters to see what we need to change. Firstly, instead of property, I usually write version or state if we are talking about a button. And then we choose the name of this version. So this version will be compact and the other version will be default. What we need to do next is name the component site itself. For example, I'll name it sub in the menu, then go to the associations tab. Here you can right click, for example, on created in this file, meaning created in this file. I have many different component sets created here now. Well, I see it in the menu. That's what we're looking for. And I just move it to the workspace. Here on the right where it says version, we can see which version we will use now. It's quite convenient and quick to switch between. With different versions of components, let's consider an option, for example, that is more suitable for a design system. When we need to create more complex components and create components within components, I will explain why this is necessary. For instance, we have a standard button and its component set consists, for example, of the same buttons. I have compiled two versions. The first version is when both buttons are active and the second version, let's say, for example, both buttons are inactive. What do I do in this case? In this case, I first create a set from all the versions of these buttons. And then I create a set from more complex versions of the buttons, especially when they are placed next to each other. You can also create, for example, another option where they are positioned one above the other. But again, if uh, all this needs to be done, then of course you can create such an option. And now we have three versions of the buttons, but they will be called vertical. That is, this arrangement is different from the purpose of creating such components. Everything is simple in the design system to ensure your design system looks organic and neat. It is created in one version of the set with different button options as much as possible. In another version, their interaction with each other, that is their combination, how they will look. Thus, even if we use some more complex components in projects, but at the same time, we want to change the button color in just one place and it changes everywhere. Let me, for example, show you if we take and change it on this site as an example, we entered uh, this set and change the button color only here. As you can see the button itself and the cases where we use only one button. Uh, the version with two buttons interacting with each other did not change, meaning in some of your projects where you did not use it, this specific component set of buttons will still look the same as before. That's why this logic is applied, where we change the color only in the parent element itself. So here, and you will now see what happens, they will change everywhere. In other words, the connection between them has already been established, and the connection between them has also been established here. Roughly speaking, the connection looks like this. You can also do this with various switches and checkboxes. For example, take checkboxes, place them next to each other and choose the second version empty. And for instance, if you want to create a list item where there will be several checkboxes are located next to each other and let these two be already highlighted, selected. Component variants are used quite often and in many cases, the most common use of components and their variants is the design system, which we will discuss in the future. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in new episodes.